So it is a bit windy here today. You can see that on the trees. When I woke up this morning, I noticed that it was pretty windy outside. And uh, I have been struggling a little bit with wind uh, during the first days of uh, testing with the drone. So I thought I would go down here to the trusted parking lot here and maybe avoid any uh, bird ladies <laughs> coming out, interfering with my flight and test out the capabilities of this drone. According to the specification, this is a level five drone. This means that it's capable of fighting winds of 19 to 24 miles per hour. If I just check up UAV forecast, it tells me that at ground level, I have 14 miles per hour wind and 33 miles per hour gusts. So at least the gust will exceed the wind capabilities of the drone. But <laughs> as this is a drone, we are not staying at ground. We are actually flying high up. And as you can see here, this place is surrounded by trees. So it's actually, even though it's pretty windy, it's, uh, it's fairly calm down here. So the idea is that I want to go beyond that tree line and simply see what happens. And right now the wind direction comes from the lake towards the houses here in the background. So um, we will compensate for that and we will fly basically in this direction to make sure that we can get the drone back in case that we run into problems. So let's just do another check here. Let's just go here and say, uh, if we want to go to, let's say 30 meters, then the wind of course changes. It is being increased to 20 miles per hour at 30 meters with gust up to 38 miles per hour. And let's just see what happens if we go to sort of 100 meter. At 100 meter, everything will go wrong basically. So we have the chance to, to sort of push it out of its comfort zone. So at 100 meters, you would have 26 miles per hour, which is uh, tightly attached outside the level five range and 42 miles per hour gusts. So that's going to challenge the drone uh, massively. Let's get it airborne and see what we can do. So we are ready. Everything is recording, we're recording. So let's position it over here. Somewhere. So let's just do it very, very. So we are we are facing the wind, basically. So let's just move it around here. So we are facing the wind. That also gives a very pleasant and nice view. <laughs> so this is ground level. So let's go up to 30 meters. That's what we talked about before. We're getting strong wind warnings, but we can easily fly the drone. Ah, not easily. It's, uh, it's full stick forward now. And maybe we shouldn't fly in cinema mode. We put in sport mode. So we <laughs> have some more power to deal with. So, so oh, at 30 meters, absolutely no issue. Flying against the wind here. It's being slowed down a little bit, but nothing uh, like, nothing critical. So right now, no issues. So let's put it in 50 meters here. See, no issues. I can fly it around. So let's go to 80 meters. And this is funny. I can actually not go higher than, uh, than 74 meters right now. And why is that? That one's off, safety. So max altitude is set to 120. So there's some sort of limitations built into the drone. That's funny. I can't move it higher than, uh, than I can. Don't know what happened. 
is equal to 100. So now we're staying at 100 meters. And uh, yeah, I can fly. Not allowed to fly there. <laughs> So, let's fly this way. This is against the wind. See, it's not super fast, but it is possible. It is possible. Battery full loaded. Yes, it is on the heavy load up there. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's just take off the camera here. So let's just for the sake of it, just check UAV forecast at 100. I can't do 120, so it does do 125. Yeah, so it's saying that it's 27 miles per hour in 120 and 42 miles per hour gusts. Okay, so, uh, so let's go to the maximum altitude that we're allowed to go to. See what's going on here. The drone should stop it, so it can't go higher. Yes, we have the maximum altitude here. So just let's just put down the camera here, so you can see that it actually stays. So, this is actually pretty impressive. It's staying up there very nicely, even though it's exceeding the maximum capabilities. Let's just zoom in here. Just see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if it stays. We're getting all sorts of wind warnings, which is uh, really fair. So let's see, let's see, I can fly it forward. Even 120 meters, it's not very fast, but I can fly it forward. So I have battery full load. It can't squeeze out more juice than this. Of course, if I fly in the other direction, it's easy. It's very, very easy. So. So I would actually say that I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> the drone is, is really capable of doing something uh, amazing here. So let's, uh, let's just try and move it back here to the start position. Not over the houses here. Ah, it's not like it's, it's not like it's racing. <laughs> So let's just put it up 120 meters again. This is at least uh, the common height in uh, most parts of the world. I guess it's the aviation industry that has helped uh, set that. So let's, let's just uh, try and fly a little circle here, if we can. So right now it's really, really, really being put under pressure out there. It's full stick forward and uh, it's not moving much. So. But it is possible at least to get some really nice slow recordings. <laughs> so let's just try to move around here. So now it's, you have to be careful because now it's getting Really? Oh, so there was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a gimbal that was being pushed. So, yes, we have dropped a little bit in altitude. Why is it dropping in altitude? I'm not dropping it. So maybe that's a built-in safety feature that the DJI has put in. That's funny. So now it's uh, don't want to play with me anymore. So, but I think the drone did fantastic under these conditions, actually. <laughs> so I can basically confirm the findings of uh, DZ Rainmaker. He was, of course, a lot, a lot more extreme with his test. But the wind speeds here are actually at um, around the same level that he was seeing. 
he was uh, seeing uh, wind speeds of uh, 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. Let me just get it over here and land it. Now, a really important thing to notice out of this test is that we have basically only been flying for, according to the screen recorder, for 14 minutes. So if you put the drone under heavy load, uh, like I did, where it really has to work for its, uh, <laughs> its money, um, you will cut your battery time in half or more. If we convert this into Eagle units as DC Rainmaker was using, we have 43 kilometers an hour wind speed at 125 meters, and we have gusts of 68 kilometers per hour. So that's 10 kilometers faster than what he had in his uh, situation. Because when he's at the sea, it looks a lot more dramatic than uh, it does here, where it's only trees that are blowing around. <laughs> so, by the way, super test that you have to go and watch as well. But I can basically confirm his finding that it is actually handling very, very nicely in wind. But it, uh, we need to investigate further what this phenomenon is, that it lowers the altitude. Maybe it's uh, sort of the, the pressure parameters, I don't know what it's called, the pressure sensors inside the drone that detects the altitude that's being fooled by these high winds. I don't know. It was starting to lower the altitude. And I couldn't push it up, even if I pushed the stick full upward. So that's, that's super interesting and uh, would actually make sense. But I would prefer that uh, DJI is not holding my hand all the time because they can't foresee all the scenarios that we come into. So if they put all too much safety automation into the drone, you might end up in situations where you actually lose it. I am still on the fence with the Mini 3 Pro. Then I have compiled a playlist with a lot of videos and I will be adding to that playlist in the future and you will be able to access, access it through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.